the will of God will come to pass in our life. Amen. Amen. The will of Satan will not come to pass in our life. I greet everybody. I greet the women. I greet the men. I greet the choristers. I greet the great women in the house of God. I greet our Father in the Lord. I greet the minister in charge in a special way. May God be with every one of us. Amen. And I also greet myself in the Lord. I greet our brothers, our prophets, our pastors that are come here today for what they want to do. They are welcome to the family of God. Pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. What you want to do today? A better one will still come in the mighty name of Jesus. Next time you are coming here. You are coming here in a mighty way, in the mighty name of Jesus. So it shall be. Amen. I don't want to take much of our time because of what we want to do here. I want us to quickly open our Bible. So, the book of 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 7. We are reading 7 to 10. 1 Samuel. And when the Philistine held that the children of Israel were gathered together to. I want Philistine to go up Yes, sir. I want Philistine to see God pay. I want my Israel to pay just see me pay. I want you to hear Philistine to see God pay. To Israel, Lord. Nobody, I want my Israel to go. I want to pay. I want Philistine. I want my Israel to see we put Samuel to pay. My Sedaka, I think my kid will do a lot of work. You will see God. No, I want Philistine. Samuel, I want to go to the camp. I want to see the rule. And when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel were gathered together in the midst of the lords of the Philistines went up against Israel. And when the children of Israel heard it, they were afraid of the Philistines. And the children of Israel said to Samuel, Since not to cry unto the Lord our God for help, that he will save us out of the hand of the Philistines. And Samuel took a sword lamp and offered it for burnt offering wool unto the Lord. And Samuel cried unto the Lord for Israel, and the Lord heard him. And Samuel was offering up the burnt offering. The Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord turned out with a great thunder of that day upon the Philistines. And they discomforted them, and they were smarted before Israel. If you look at this place very well, see, I want to really lay emphasis on verse 9 and verse 10. What do you want to say? I know you, Sam, and the SNK, so I think I want you. But that's verse 7 and 8. I see the same words. They said that they get disturbed when. The what Israelites were facing the Philistines. But there is a way the Israelites at that point in time. What is should They are a grateful set of people. Grateful. Yes. They are grateful people as in they, they appreciate. God very well at that point in time. They, they, they said, cry unto God. I know that if you cry unto God, God is going to answer us. And what did Samuel did there? He said he offered a lamp unto God. That is verse 9. First 9, please. Yes. And Samuel took a circling lamb. What is that And for a burnt offering only unto God. That is, 
If you look at the English version of the Bible, they said only that is total. He bought it finished as in totally unto God. If we do sacrifice now, what do you think will happen? Most of us, we only at uh, at at the They said they bought everything out of us. It means that they are what? They are grateful people as in this. They are such a person that appreciates God. Now, what do you think God did first time? So, and as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But they were, the Lord turned out with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines. And yes, discomforted them, and they were smiting before the smiting before the world, before the Israel. And you could go on matter and one person who had done with Israel. What do we want to talk about today? Benefits of grateful acts. Yes, benefits of a grateful act. What are the benefits? What are the advantages? What are the things? What are the things you can gain when you give that when you appreciate what God has done in your life? You know, on Saturday we are talking about benefit of mountain. Benefit of problems. We mentioned something of that. Nature. But today we want to mention someone. You know, there is difference between any it don't sorry and any it don't worry. You get it? There is difference between someone that is grateful, that have a grateful heart, and someone that is giving. You get it? If they do something for you and you appreciate it, it means that you are a grateful person. I will mention like five or six people in the Bible. Because where I'm going to is that, let's go back. There are three ways of doing things. It's either you do it in the wrong way, or you do it in the right way, or God's way. The army of salvation, those children play over there outside, it's either they are in the church or Let them get in. I'm not meant that place is not get them coming. If they don't listen to the word of God, if you don't build them today, when we go, who will take over the mantle? Let them see that. Let them listen to the word of God. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, now. That is, there are three ways of doing things. Wrong way, right way, or God's way. But that is this benefit of grateful act, that is what is going to lead to three ways of doing things. Number one, there was ten lepers in the Bible. They had an encounter with Jesus Christ. And they were then there, and it was only one of them that came back and said, Oh, he said, God, I appreciate what you have done for me. And what do you think God do? God looked at him. He said, I heal you before. I healed you before, but now he said, I want to make you old. I want to see that first 
Samuel chapter 7 verse 4. Oh, if you see the way you need to call on our own, you understand me what man there is, one drone you three. One more down, so can we pay this to all the conditions of work. The man so see more, or we fall away, and love you are you on for one who fought. Oh, see she, you want to know, or see the memo. The man so funny, no worry about more like a duck for Oh, see you are you on no go. Oh, see what I never say. Oh, to pay your worry. I have some right to see you, you see she. Yes, you don't pay. I remember key. Key has on the memo. I remember so you go at. Let's read 16 to 19. Guys, look at that. 16 to 19. Okay. What do you go for a Samaria? to go to go to go to go go have what the English version said, I've made you old. That's different from healing and making old. If you are in leper and they say they heal you, they will still see the traces of leprosy in you. But because only one of them came back, he said that they will not see that mark on you again. A leper. The second person in the Bible, the madman of Gadara. This man, when God said, I've done this, he hid him of the, of the madness. You know, I've told us before, I said he's a chief among the mad people. When other mad men see him, they say that this person is a madman. You don't get when other mad men see him, they say that this is a what? This is another when a mad is pointing to another mad man and say that this is a madman, you know that that man is a chief among the mad men. This madman of Gadara, the Bible says that 6,000 demons were holding him down. When he knew what happens to him, that is how me that 6,000 demons were holding down. When Jesus Christ healed him, what do you think happens? He submitted himself only, make himself a living sacrifice unto the God. And the Bible says, in that Mark chapter 5, Yes, sir. Let's go back. In just Mark chapter 5, yes, verse 19 and 20, they said that he was moving up to the level that he got to Decapolis and he was announcing Jesus Christ. And he became an evangelist. If you look at that first Samuel chapter 17, they said that Samuel took a lamb and put everything onto God. 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 Okay, so we won't be a guest. No, everything not to God. The living sacrifice. Someone that can make himself a living sacrifice is someone that appreciates God. Oh, come to more, oh, no, come to the more, oh, more, oh, no, come to be, for no, come to she. A grateful wife will submit, that is, a grateful wife will submit, will make herself a living sacrifice unto her husband. Oh, come to more, oh, yeah, I'm going to wait, very bad for a call. You don't get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Everything the wife wants to do, ah, only a not only 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 a grateful child will what? We give everything 
anything on to the parent. Before such a child do something, we make sure the parents know. It is when you do that by solving, the parent will not say that, no, you are no more a child. You have become a beloved child. And you say, that's what happened here. Let me give us another example here. Peter, Peter, when he borrowed Jesus Christ's boats, Jesus Christ, after the preaching, he used that in Luke chapter 5. We all know the story 1 to 9. It's because of our time. I just want to rush a bit. After the preaching, man, let's go. Then Jesus Christ said, Okay, no problem. Throw the net somewhere. Oh, yeah. You are using the right, strong, and uh, left hand side. Throw it at the right hand side. And when you have a breakthrough, what did Peter do? Peter said, This is too much for me. In that, I said, Move away. He grateful that. And what do you think Jesus Christ said? So Jesus Christ said, because if you can do this thing and say that this is too much, I will not allow you to catch fish again. We will be catching men. And the men will not be catching fish for you. I don't know if you get what I'm saying here. He won't fly no long part of the 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 long Jesus. Benefit of grateful acts. I need a return on the long part of the long Before Jesus Christ could say such a thing to Peter, what did Peter do? They said that he forsook everything. Oh, he will work out there. And your lost children. We talk about living sacrifice today in our Sunday school. There is a difference between someone that is giving thanks and someone that has a grateful act. No, someone that is giving thanks and he told you I don't know if you got what I'm saying. Yeah. I can say that daddy thank you for yesterday and my mind is not clear to you. But a grateful act. Okay. I think I you that is, you will not stay where you are. God will always uplift such a person. Oh, you want to do so? I'm not in the bag. I'm a debtor here. What you want to do now? Even Jesus Christ is the one that said that. Mm -hmm. Go and show yourself to the world, to the priest. He now said that. No, 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 no. And he told the Lord, he and the Father, and the Father, to come once again. No, God, he can do. I was say thank you. And God now said, don't worry. More of both it on or not to do what we got. I was saying, you know, that is God's way. I want to put up what it on at the bat on the way. So, and the man, and the man, so my young father. And God now said, don't worry, I will do it in my own way. Lord, now teach me. That is sovereignty of God. That is the mightiness of God. He said, I'm in heaven. I do what so ever I want. So I want to do what I want. I don't care what I want. I don't care what I want. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Yes. When God wants to lift some people up, to the amount of love, to the amount of love, to the amount of love, during the time of Corona, you see a lot of people, they build houses, they buy cars, they do a lot of things. That is God's way, not your way. 
not the right way, not the wrong way. Okay. You can do things in the wrong way, and God will say, I want me, I want to show my what? My sinners. But before God can do this in God's way in your life, what do you think? You must first grateful acts. Open up your glory. glory. See your glory. You must be someone that's everything unto him. Let me close this book. There is a man in the Bible, Solomon. He became the king of Israel. Let's go, man, please. As he became the king of Israel, what did he do? He looked at himself. He made me a king of Israel. We have so many qualified people that can become the king. Absalom is far, far better. I mean, go find you. Go find you, Solomon. He confirmed me. The Bible confirmed me that Absalom is what? Ah. I know very good lot of those in the like ah those in the name. What sculpture Solomon? Then Solomon look at himself. How will you choose me? How will you choose me? Me, my father, a daughter. I like Mary, he baba me. He yam me. I like Mary, I don't a daughter. Me as a king, my father, a daughter, my mother, a daughter, and me is now coming out from the womb of a mother. The way of the children, and what did he do? He killed one thousand cows only to God. By the time he finished, he slept and got such. I will do something. And God said, No, I will do it in my own way. How did he do it? He put him in and said, Any king before you and after you, there are no one that will be as rich as you are. He said, No one. Graceful as. Because you have done this, all after a living sacrifice, I said, I will move a place and so much. Look at David. It's because of our time. I will close it up now. After he was dancing, he brought the ark of God. He brought it to his house. You know the story, Second Samuel chapter 6. When he was writing the ark of he said, Paul wants to make a lady, I want to tell my baby. No! He said, let me bring the ark to this place. I was laughing yesterday, you know, I was editing, and someone came to you. He said, Your own way is different. And what did you say? You said, God's way. I smile. Because what I prepared is what? God's way. And someone now brought a case that relates to God's way. Mommy, I do ya go. But the That's how God does it. I You don't know that God is smart. That is, someone that said that I don't want to do things with you, we want, we come and say, no, 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 no. And she just mentioned, I just put my head, yes, you are talking, you have confirmed what I'm what I'm preparing here. How God is going to do for you today? David was talking to his wife, said, you, you said I'm dancing before my God. Yeah, second Samuel chapter 6, towards the end there. I'm dancing before my God, the God that chose me than your father. Many of in fact, you are very long. A me, a shepherd boy, he chose me to be a king. And you are not saying I'm dancing before the Almighty. He said, if I have the opportunity, I will still do more. 
before him. And what do you think happens? So By the time you get to Second Samuel chapter 7, God said, no problem. Because you have done this before me, I will make sure that your kingdom is for more. You get it? David in your Tony Jobber. Let's go, please, man. Yes. Tony Jobber, David, only Goliath said, Did you have Goliath said that if I'm able to kill anybody in Israel, the what Israel will not have kingdom again. But God now said, You now look at it, what can I do? Because God has chosen me. Then what did, what did he do? He was, God now said, This kingdom. He said, Your kingdom will not be one, your kingdom will be forever. And what do you think happens? When you get to Mark chapter 10, 46 to 52, but he knew the blind. He said, Jesus Christ. What did he say? He said, Son of David. Son of me. And Jesus Christ is King of Kings. Now David now becomes the father of King of Kings. That is, I will make you the father of King of Kings. Take Jesus Christ, or man David. The grateful acts. What am I telling you today? As God will not look at the left. He will not look at the wrong. He will not look at the right. He will do it in his own way. That is where I'm going to today. God will do it in God's way. Only or sin can talk. If you talk to God, it will matter. Who you are is doesn't matter. Where you came from is not. I've told you on several occasions that I'm not such a person that's supposed to be holding mind to be preaching to anybody. I don't want this. I'm not qualified. I don't, I don't even have it. I don't understand Bible. I don't read Bible. How would I be sound to be preaching? But there's one thing in me. Anything that is not right, I will say it's not right. I was a self-thinker before. I always against something that is not right. If something is done the way it's not supposed to, I said, no, I don't want it this way. I think that is fine. I don't know anything. Thank God for the life. Thank God for now. I'm now holding my to be preaching. Who am I? A worthless person before God. And he now said, the first thing God said that you are going to be what? You are going to be preacher of the other. I didn't think about me. But you are so I'm going to be a bad boy. I'm going to be close. But you are getting there. Amen. And we will get to there. Yeah. God is going to be with every one of us. I want you to be on your feet. You will tell God. You said, Father, before I have been talking to you that I be I will say that, that I do it the right way. God, I wrong way, right way. No. You just lift your voice and say, God, I want you to do this in your way. He will say, because God is the Almighty. Amen. He's the Almighty One. And the Bible said it's in heaven. He does what he likes. For say, who knows the king of the show says, Shama, only boy, and to my holy name, or you have to go to the king of the world in the next day. So, no man. For so, no man. Only one minister in charge is going to go to the you get what I'm saying? He's God. Only he's see he's God. There are some things that God need. Amen. I'm telling you. I'm not saying God can't do it. Amen. For today is God. God's way does not require amen. Oh no, that one. Oh no, that person. Oh no, that one. 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 You just lift your voice and say, Father, this thing I want from you. Okay. Eh? Shame me on no reason. Do it in your way. Do it in your way. Or now you put it in your way. Don't do it in your way. Only somewhere. Along me. Along me. You get what I'm saying? But the somebody is saying, "Eh, but the man don't do it." Hold on, what's up? A man will be here. If your son is in the camp, and all my days he didn't do it, I 
than God's way, not right way or wrong way. If you are beating this place, this is the right way. This is the right way. We call this one wrong way again. Come on, let the jump go back to something. Yes. Just do it in your way. And we close it in this time chat we're going to oh, close it. Sure. Can we go ahead and tell the Almighty God? Anything that I am not Yeah. Uh -huh. 